This project is to safely remove and rebuild the flyover at Bletchley, which will carry the new railway between Bicester and Bletchley, and in doing so save £70 million within the overall budget of the scheme. We challenged and worked with the Alliance um, to come up with um, a new way of working um, using modern methods of construction um, that would enable the, uh, the job to be delivered faster, cheaper and more safely. So we've arrived at an innovative solution that builds a box over the existing railway that carries the new railway in one continuous run um, and avoids us having to put any columns or structures on and around the existing railway. Um, it also creates uh, a physical barrier which enables the work above the railway uh, to be carried out without interfering with operations below. We aim for 70% of the uh, building product to be manufactured off-site and that in turn gives us 60% reduction in uh, on-site workforce and 30% uh, improvement on the programme. We're basically building it out of a kit of parts. We install the precast shell units and to me they're like big duplo blocks, a uh, hollow duplo box and they're literally stacked one on top of the other. For me the big advantage is manufacturing uh, a lot of the products off-site means we're using less plants, we're using smaller workforce so we, therefore we produce less noise, we get the, the factory quality, we do it quicker and we have a big programme saving. We've been able to speed up the project by six months and deliver the structure early by working on the structure during the day utilising modern methods of construction to construct a barrier between the workforce and the work site and the operational railway and that allowed us to keep the railway running for a larger amount of time and obviously significantly reduce the impact on the paying passenger. We didn't want to include something that might be a maintenance problem uh, for the future. So by replacing this part of the structure we put in something that's strong enough to carry the new railway which should also last for 120 years.